Now we are going to do a new chapter on determiners. Now under these determiners we have many determiners and under these we have the articles which is very very important. Okay? So I will just give you determiners and then we go on to articles. Okay, determiners qualify a noun. Okay, there are possessive, there are many kinds of uh, determiners out of which the articles is very, very important. The articles are of three kinds. Okay. A and and the these two are called indefinite articles. And this is called the definite article. Okay, uh, we have two different kinds. One, one is a definite articles and indefinite article. Okay. Now, what are the indefinite articles? A and an okay a and an and these are used for singulars only used for singulars used for singular nouns here this is used for plural And also for, um, uh, the, and also many many usages are there. I'm going to teach you all that. Use for plural nouns plus. I'll just write that plus. I'm going to teach you the usage. Okay. Now, uh, indefinite article a and an are used for singular nouns, and a is used before. Uh, words beginning with consonant sound and an is used before words beginning with vowel sound. Okay, we are going to see some examples now. Take down this uh, uh, tree diagram and I am going to explain each and every article for you. Okay, I will uh, once again um, brief this determiners. Determiners are those which qualify a noun and under that we are going to do articles and the articles are of three different uh, kinds. A, I mean there are three different articles, okay. A, an and the and they can be uh, divided into indefinite articles and definite articles. Indefinite articles are A and an and the definite article is the okay this is mainly indefinite article is used for singular nouns and definite articles are used for plural nouns and plus many more um, main points are there which i'm going to teach you now uh, the indefinite article a and an a is used before words beginning with consonant sound and an is used before words beginning with vowel sound. And uh, here indefinite that means when we talk about uh, a person. Okay, I will just give you an example here and then we can uh, go on to the next one. Example, uh, Sita saw 
a bird. Now, a bird, some word, isn't it? It's not very definite. Okay, here, same way, if I write Sita saw the bird that she saw yesterday. Here, the is used because it's it's a definite article. Why? Because she has already seen it yesterday. And the same bird, not any bird, that same bird she sees today. So, Sita saw the bird that she saw yesterday. You can't say Sita saw a bird that she saw. Now, here it is definite. She is mentioning something in particular. Okay. Here, it is a generalized statement. Sita saw a bird. Same way, uh, this is used before a consonant sounding word, bird. Bird, bird sound is consonant sound. So, she is used A here and I can uh, give you another example for an. Mm. The dog had an egg. for dinner. Okay, an egg, a, a sound is, uh, it is a vowel sound. So, we use an and both are singular in nature, isn't it? Mm, here we can have um, the man bought the eggs from the store. Okay. The eggs because I am mentioning plural. Okay. Is that clear now? So, the is used for plural nouns and also for a definite um, noun. Here, A and AN are indefinite articles and they are used only for singular nouns. A is used before a consonant sounding word and AN is used before a vowel sounding word. Okay, so they are indefinite and definite articles. Now, shall we go on to see everything in detail? I have already discussed with you A, AN and THE are the articles and they are the demonstrative uh, determiners. Okay? They uh, demonstrate or they qualify a noun. Okay, now, let us see uh, A and AN are indefinite articles. A and an. Point one used before indefinite things. things or nouns in singular. Okay, second point it is used before. Okay, uh, I'll just tell you um, A is used before. for a 
consonant sounding word and an is used before a vowel sounding word okay there are some words which uh, have a consonant like our but we pronounce it the uh, vowel way okay we do not uh, pronounce the first word for example words which begin with with a consonant but if the but if the first letter is silent and the second letter is a is a vowel we use an before it okay for example an our see h is silent okay though it is a consonant uh, word a consonant beginning word h it begins with a consonant but h is silent so we use an our the next letter the second letter is a o it's a vowel sounding word so we use uh, an same way an honor or honorable he is an honorable man okay an ear ear why is silent we say an ear european an european i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry this is for the next point okay an honor an hour an honorable person an ear all these are uh, the first letters though they begin with consonants they are silent and so we take the next letter which is a vowel so we use an next one words which begin with a vowel vowel but has a consonant sound take a before it okay example a european okay 
Why? Because though it is a vowel letter, uh, vowel letter that begins uh, where the word begins with European is pronounced like this. European. Okay. So why is a consonant, isn't it? So it is uh, taken as a consonant sound. So we use a. Okay, is that clear? <clears throat> so now we have seen the indefinite articles a and an, and uh, we have seen the rules. Now I'm sure you're very clear about it because error spotting when you have in 9th and 10th and all, you have to know the usage of these articles a and an. Okay, uh, so this you always remember. It is the sound that matters, not the uh, vowel or uh, let, uh, word beginning with a vowel or consonant, but it is only the vowel sound or the consonant sound that matters. Okay, certain words here, these uh, the beginning of the word, the consonant sound is silent, so we use the next uh, letter, and if it is a vowel, then we use an before it. Okay. Same way here, we use a before uh, uh, words which begin with a vowel. Words which begin with a vowel, uh, but has a consonant sound, take a before it. Is that clear now? Okay. We just saw the indefinite articles a and an and how and when they are used. Now we are going to see the definite article the, okay. Uh, we are going to see the definite article the. Actually there are lot of uh, points that you have to learn for the usage of the and I'm going to give you point by point, okay. First point, when we refer to some particular person. Are you taking down? Okay. Call the boy. Waiting outside. Or waiting there. Okay, we use the because a definite article like uh, see we are just talking about a particular boy who is waiting there. Okay, it is about a particular person. Second point. When I told you it is used for plural uh, words. Okay, first if it is a particular person we use the, but I also told that is the oranges or the oranges, the apples, we use it for plural. But before that, I am going to tell you another different thing. When a singular noun is used to represent A whole class or a whole family, okay.
Okay, for example, the cow is a useful animal. Uh, one more example I'll give you. Now, I have used the before a singular noun, cow. I haven't say, said here cows or here the lion is a brave beast I have written. I haven't said lions. Though it is a singular noun, it is used for a whole class. That is it represents all the cows in general. If I say the dog is a faithful animal, it talks about all the dogs, okay. It talks about the whole class of dog family, okay. So now do you understand? Next point. As an adverb. When it is used uh, as an adverb, example, the more the merrier. Okay, when it is used as an adverb, the more the merrier, the rich, the happier, the poor, uh, the um, the poor, the merrier also we can say, okay. When we use it as an adverb, the is used here, okay. Next one. I told you as a plural. Or we can say before plurals. The oranges, the children, the uh, pencils. Okay, before plural we use the. We can't say a oranges or an oranges. We before plural we use the next next one before rain rivers and rain mountain ranges before rivers mountain ranges and islands example the ganges the kaveri okay the himalayas now I have given two for rivers, the Himalayas, the Alps, islands, the Andaman, the Andamans. The Andamans and the Nicobar, the, the we say. So we use the before 
rivers, the before mountain ranges and the before islands. Okay, next point. We use the before um, oceans, gulfs and oceans and gulfs. Okay. Even bays before ocean means bay also. Uh, example the Bay of Bengal. The Indian Ocean. The Gulf of Okay, so before all these we use the. Is that clear? Next point. Before the names of Before the names of certain important books. Okay. Example. We can even say the holy books. The Bible. The Quran. The Bhagavad Gita or the Mahabharata, everywhere we use the. Okay, before certain important books we use the. Is that clear? The Bible, the Quran, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, all these we use the. Next point. Before the names of newspapers, example, the Hindu. The um, The Indian Express, the Deccan Chronicle, the Times of India, all these we use the, okay. Next one. Before names of popular countries, okay. Before names of popular nations, like the English, it talks about the people of England, the English, the French, the
the Turkey, Turkish people, the Dutch. Okay, so before the names of uh, popular nations or the people belonging to uh, popular nations, we use the. Okay, next one before ordinals and superlatives, very very important. Before ordinals and superlative. Okay. Before ordinals and superlatives, ordinals means first, the, the first, the first, the second, the third, all these are called the ordinal numbers, okay, the first. Then superlatives, mm, that is always, that we have degrees of comparison, isn't it? Um, good, better, best. Positive, comparative, superlative. Now, superlative degree will always take the before it, the best, the worst, the tallest. Tallest, the longest, the, the best. Okay, everywhere you see all these are superlatives and this is the ordinals. Now, I am going to revise with you again. Let us see. Definite article the and here we have the uses. First point, when we refer to some particular person, example, call the boy waiting there. So, we are mentioning a particular person. So, we use the. When a singular noun is used to represent a whole class, the cow is a useful animal. So, we are talking, we are just using a singular noun, but we are representing a whole class. The lion is a brave beast or brave animal. When we use the as an adverb, the more the merrier, we use the. Next, before plurals, example, the oranges, the, the children, the pencils. Before rivers, mountains and um, mountain ranges and islands. Rivers, mountain ranges and islands. The Ganges, the Kaveri, the Himalayas. Ganges and Kaveri are rivers. Um, the Himalayas and the Alps are mountain ranges. And islands, we have the Andamans, the Maldives, the Nicobar, everything. Before oceans and gulfs, um, example, the Bay of Bengal, the, it can be even bays, okay. The Bay of Bengal, the Indian Ocean, the Gulf of uh, Kutch. Before uh, names of certain important books, for example, the Bible, the Quran, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, all that. Before the names of newspapers, the Hindu, the Indian Express, the Deccan Chronicle, the Times of India. Before the names of popular nations, people belonging to popular nations, the English, the French, okay, we are talking about the people of popular nations before the names of the people people of popular nations the english the french the dutch all that before ordinals and superlatives before ordinals means the first the second the third the 20th all that card ordinals we use always the and also before superlatives, uh, I told you adjectives when we uh, compare them as positive, comparative and superlative. Then for superlative, we always use the, the tallest, the longest, the best, all this we use. Okay, is that clear? Now I am sure you have 
got a very uh, wide idea of how the determiners the are used, the, a and an are used. These are called the articles, definite articles and indefinite articles. The is a definite article and a and an are indefinite articles. Okay. I have just discussed with you definite articles and indefinite articles. Now I am going to give you a test, okay? 10 marks test and let us see whether you are doing it correctly and it is very very easy and you are sure to get a start, okay? Shall we try? Fill in the blanks. with appropriate articles. Okay. Take out your notebooks and copy down. Okay. We shall be back in dash hour dash lion is the biggest of all cats He has lost dash fifty rupee note. I want to become Dash actor. Next one. They are in dash hurry. Always Speak dash <coughs> truth. Next, this is dash book that I wanted. Eight. We visited Dash Taj Mahal last year. Delhi is dash capital of India. Steel is toughest dash toughest metal.
okay this is 10 marks and I'm going to give you another paragraph uh, and that carries 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This carries 10 marks, okay? complete with articles. I am going to give you a full passage and uh, this carries 10 marks. Okay. This is dash story about dash man who used to roam who used to roam in dash jungles to look for Dash unique animal. He had heard He had heard that dash animal looked like looked like dash goat and had and had dash horn on its head. Now Dash animal must be dash unicorn. This is about Okay, now let's count how many blanks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. <clears throat> 
So 10 plus 10, 20 marks and it's just a very easy test that I've given you. Uh, this is fill in the blanks and here it's just a passage where you have to complete with the appropriate articles. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you have taken down all the uh, blanks and everything now. Let's see. Let's check it up. We shall be back in dash hour. Have you written down the answers? Shall we check it up? Okay. I told you H O U R H is silent. So we pronounce it as hour. So in an hour. Have you written it correctly? Dash lion is the biggest of all cats. Now it talks about a full family or a class of it. So the lion is the biggest of all cats. Again you see the use of the before superlative. He has lost a 50 rupee note. I want to become an actor because it starts with a vowel sound. So an actor. They are in a hurry. Here hurry H is pronounced. So we use A. Always speak the truth. You can't say a truth. It is the truth. This is the book that I wanted. This, this is the book that I wanted. We visited the Taj Mahal because it's a uh, monuments and rivers and all this. We use the. Delhi is the capital of India. Steel is the toughest metal. Toughest is superlative. So we use the. Okay, check it up. Now have you got 10 marks in this test? If you've got, then you write 10 on 10. Okay, now let's go on to the next passage. Okay, next passage and we'll complete it with the articles and then we'll see how much you've got out of 20 marks. This is dash story about dash man. Okay. This is a story. Okay. This is a story about first we are talking about a indefinite man. About a man who used to roam in the jungles to look for uni unique. So unique uh, I told you this unique and unicorn and all U pronunciation. So this is a consonant. So look for a unique animal. U N I Q U E unique uh, animal. Okay, unique. I'm sorry here. Animal. Okay, look for a unique animal. He had heard that. Now again we are talking about the animal. So we have to use the definite article the. Okay. He had heard that the animal looked like what? A goat. Okay. A goat and had. Now it's written only horn. So we have to use the singular indefinite article a uh, and had a horn on its head a horn only one horn okay uh, on its head so now again we are talking about the same animal so we have to use the definite article the the animal must be must be what the unicorn okay the animal must be the unicorn. We are talking about uh, the family of unicorns. Okay, unicorn is an animal which has only one horn on its head. This is now 
This is first we said this is a story. Now we are talking about the same story again. So it becomes a definite article here. And this is a story about the man. Now have you got all the 10 correct? 10 on 10. Okay. So you get 20 on 20. And you get a big star. Okay. You get a big star. Now I'm sure you're thorough with your articles and you won't have any problem whatsoever when you go to your 9th or 10th or even your higher secondary classes. You may have exercises on articles. So do not ever have any doubt. Is that clear? Okay, all the best.